Hello, and thank you for watching. I'm Kristen Kirby, Director of Community Relations for Menor Public Schools. And I'm Elizabeth Menley, Manager of Cardinal TV. We're here today to share some quick tips that will help you create a meaningful PSA. So what is a PSA, you might be asking? It's the acronym for a public service announcement, and it's basically a quick message used to promote something. In this case, you've been asked to make a video PSA. So think television commercial, or maybe more of a cross between a news story and a television commercial. PSAs can create awareness, show the importance of a problem or issue, convey information, or promote a behavioral change. When produced well, they can leave a lasting impression. Sayings like, friends don't let friends drive drunk, or a mind is a terrible thing to waste, came from a PSA. There are a few simple rules that can help you when you begin creating these PSAs. Just like in your written work, a video PSA should include the five W's, who, what, where, when, and why. Your message needs to be simple, direct, and targeted to video viewers. But before you can even begin gathering your video, you need to make sure you have your thoughts organized and you have a plan. This means gather your facts and information and write a script. That's right, after you have the facts, a plan and a script. Your next step is to begin your storyboard. A storyboard is when you map out the video you're going to need to go with your script. This is the visuals, the pictures, what really pops and what you want your audience to see. Your video will likely be the most powerful part of the PSA. And to help you get started, we wanted to give you guys four different types of PSAs you can choose to make. The first we call the spokesperson. This would be when you find a high profile person to draw attention to your cause. The spokesperson ends up being the person who's talking directly to the audience, like this. He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. That's right, no employee of the month bonus check here. This guy, no, this boy, will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. So this one is for AARP promoting a caregiving guide. The spokesman is obviously not with AARP, but they're hoping his unique delivery makes their message stick. Next is the voiceover PSA. This is when you hear a voice reading the script with video matching what's being said, but you don't actually see the person who's speaking kind of like what's happening right now. The audio is recorded off camera ahead of time. Here's a good example of a voiceover PSA. Get their next meal. Join Share Our Strength in Food Network and take the pledge to end childhood hunger here in America by 2015. Learn how at nokidhungry.org. Their next meal could come from you. This is a pretty common way to create a solid PSA, especially if you're a beginner. And the third type we want to talk to you about is live action. In this one, think you're watching a movie scene where they're not just talking at you with facts and information. You have to infer the message based off of what you're watching, like this one. Hi, be sure to put your phone on the console. Yes, ma'am. You can hear the actors talking, but it doesn't sound as scripted. This type of PSA is used to play out the drum of what could happen and make you feel a part of the scene in this instance, how dangerous it is to text and drive. 